The equilibrium and protective reactions is considered a cortical reactions. Okay, um, that starts mainly from six months and refined and continue to the end of the life. Protective reactions could be tested from prone position, which is called protective extension thrust or parachute reactions. Also from sitting position and from standing position. Let's test it from brown position. We can use a ball. Let's use this ball and put the infant in brown line position. I prefer to be uh, in this side, okay? Not forward, to be controlled better. Uh, I put my hand on his belfast and the other hand gripping his ankles like so okay and then suddenly approximate his head towards the ground towards the the mat so you should have mat a soft mat and uh, test it okay by applying sudden thrust towards this mat like so the reaction should be extension of the arms and fingers towards this mat. I want to refer that the infant shouldn't have any hypotonic abnormalities or hyperlaxity. Because if the infant is hypotonic or has some genetic disorders like um, Down syndrome, there will be a risk of atlantoaxial subluxation. So testing infant in this condition is contraindicated. Okay? If you didn't have a ball, you can do the same test manually. Just hold the infant hand under his chest, his chest, and grab his ankle the same thing, and then suddenly approximate approximate him towards the ground. The reaction will be extension of the arms and hands as he want to protect his head. We can apply protective reaction from sitting position. Just the infant or the child sit in front of you if he can sit. Uh, if the infant above uh, about nine months you can test this reaction okay by suddenly push him forward. So the reaction will be extension of the arms forward and finger forwards to protect himself. If you push him sideways, suddenly he will try to extend his arms sideways to prevent him from falling to this side. You will notice that he extends his arm to this side if you apply the stimulus suddenly, okay? At the same time, he will right his trunk and abduct his arms uh, to uh, use the other uh, strategies or other reactions to regain balance. Okay? If you push him suddenly to this side, he will uh, do protective reaction to this side and equilibrium reactions writing to the opposite side. Okay? If you push him backwards, he will extend his arms backwards to prevent himself from falling backwards at the same time he will write himself forward okay so there are differences if you'd like to just test writing and equilibrium reactions do the movement slowly and wait for the reaction if you would like to uh, test the protective reactions do sudden stimulus if the infant can stand and walk, uh, if he over uh, one and a half year, up to two years, you can test uh, this protective reaction from a standing position. You can push him forward. The reaction will be taking a step forward. This is a protective reaction. If you push him sideways, he will abduct his, his limb this side or may adduct his limb like so to prevent himself from falling to this side this is a protective reaction and the same thing if you push him to this side he may abduct his limb 
or adduct the other limb to prevent himself from falling. He used this strategy by moving his base of support from this position to this position, like so, or like so, to contain the line of gravity and preventing him from collapse. If you push him backwards, push him backwards like so, he will uh, take backward steps, okay, as he shifts his base of support backwards to contain the line of gravity and to regain the line of gravity, preventing him to fall backwards.